Hey there, I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. For this one, Andrew from Trail Under Custom sent out their TRD Pro inspired grill for me to install on the truck. I record the whole process start to finish and they actually have that video up on their YouTube channel, the Trail Runner Customs YouTube channel, and I'll have that link down below if you want to go check out the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install this on your truck. In this video, my goal is to just get you as many clips as I can of what it looks like on the truck while I kind of talk about um, you know, how I thought the install went and my unbiased opinions after having it on the truck for around two weeks. Okay, so first off, the grill came really well packaged. Everything was wrapped in bubble wrap. All the boxes were really clearly labeled, so there's no confusion on you know, what goes where or you know, what I should have got or what stuff like that. Along with the grill, you also get three Raptor style um, amber lights that you have the option to install along with um, like a sort of a wiring harness to help you run it down to either the fuse box or wherever you plan to tap it into. Andrew and I are actually working together now to uh, you know, refine that wiring harness to um, you know, help anyone install it a little bit easier out of the box. Next, moving into the installation itself. Honestly, really easy and pretty straightforward. Uh, it should, in theory, take a total of like 10 minutes. It's just six nuts that hold the grill to the hood and then two bolts that hold the hood release to the grill. Um, and if they all cooperate, then it's a super easy job. <laughs> but unfortunately for me, the, um, the bolts that held the hood release to the grill um, they were all corroded and one of them actually seized up. So I had to, had to improvise a little bit, cut a little bit out on the, uh, the backside of the OEM grill to get that released. The getting the six nuts off wasn't a big deal. They were a little bit corroded, but they broke free and I was able to thread them off no problem. The, um, the bummer was when I went to reuse those same ones on this grill, I guess they were more corroded than I thought. So they actually kind of spun the studs within the plastic like bracket or housing, however you want to think of it. Um, and one of them actually, uh, it cracked along the seam a little bit. So not ideal, but I, I will take responsibility for that because in some of the other installation videos that Andrew has made, he's explicitly said like, hey, if your things are, if your nuts are corroded, like, you know, run a tap through them, clean them up so that they thread on nice and easy. So I didn't do that and I wish I had. Um, I went through and did it again once after, after that happened on the first one. I went through and cleaned all of them up with an M6 by one um, you know, tap and it made a huge difference. You can see I just like <laughs> threaded them on with my fingers and then just tightened them down with the 10 millimeter just at the end. So I would recommend running a tap through the nuts just to help the install go nice and smooth. Okay, so I tightened up the six nuts, reattached the hood release, and then we were done with the install. So I went over, got some beauty shots, and I'll preface this by saying that I know looks are subjective, so this is just my opinion, kind of what I think of it, but I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments as well. If you don't know, the style that this is mimicking is off of the, the TRD Pro trim level on modern Tundras, Tacomas, Forerunners. Um, it's the most off-road capable trim, and it comes with this really cool grill with the Toyota script across the front instead of just the, the logo. So I think it's really cool that um, you know, this grill can bring that you know, modern, aggressive look to an older truck like this. Um, and yeah, I think it looks nice. I think it would look best with an aftermarket bumper, um, or at least something de-chromed, like maybe on the bumper and, and the mirrors as well. <laughs> it was kind of funny talking with friends and family and even a few strangers. It was honestly like 50-50 on whether people preferred this style grill or the OEM grill on the truck. Um, most of the people who preferred the OEM one just said that this didn't really fit you know, all the chrome that's, that's on my truck. They thought that the grill itself was a really nice piece, but <laughs> my truck just needed some more aggressive mods to help it fit in. Like I said, earlier, I'll reiterate, looks are subjective. So over to you on if you think that this grill will fit the look that you're going for on your truck. As far as the fit and finish of the kit, from any distance, it looks really high quality. It doesn't feel flimsy when you open or close the hood. And I'd say it matches the shape of the OEM grill almost perfectly. There's a tiny bit more of a gap down at the bottom of the grill, but it's really not noticeable. There is a little bit more of a gap on, on the top side. And you Definitely don't see it unless you're actively looking for it, but the spacing is just a tiny bit off between the top and the hood. Again, you don't really notice it unless you're looking for it, but I do think it's worth mentioning. So would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. I think it's a really good package that you get for the money and it looks good on the truck. Um, they also have it for the 03 to 06 Tundra. They have it for Sequoias, Forerunners, and uh, if you like this style grill, there's actually a couple of options on the market right now um, that you can buy from, but 
I, I would really recommend Trail Runner Customs. Um, Andrew's a really great guy. He was really great to work with through this whole process, and you can tell he's really passionate about his business. So if you're interested in a grill for your Tundra, Forerunner, uh, Sequoia, definitely head over to trailrunnercustoms.com or you know just check out their YouTube channel. Let them know I sent you. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great rest of your day.